All right, so we'll use that. So I'm starting out with a box this morning here. Xbox 360 boxes. So boxes are always worth a little bit. So I sold this. Uh, this was actually in pretty good shape, actually. And it's the pro, it says Go Pro on it. So And there's a little bit of packing in here, too. So I think original of a box is worth it. Right? So... I sold this. There's some packing in here. I'm going to open this up. This way. Let's take a look in here. So I sold this, which is exciting. So there's a couple pieces of packing in here. Not much, but a couple. Of them. I'm just a little, little dwarfs. Of, of, is that a word? Dwarf? I don't know what. So there's some packing in there. Look at bang around. So, I'm, so if you sell a, ship a box, if you sell a box, you got to put this box into another box. Therefore, shipping a box costs money. So you have to get a little bit for the box because you got to compensate for you shipping it, right? So that these things are banging around. A bit, so we'll put those in there like that. So you can't just sell sell a box for nothing. You got to. And sometimes they're harder to find these older boxes. I sold a few. Uh, one time I had an issue with PS5 box where I got kicked off for 30 days because I was selling a box, which I don't, I'll never understand why that, I, that happened. So, so we're doing the box this morning. So this is all set to go. I got to make a box for this. I'm just going to put a box over the box. Kind of worn here and there. It even shows you the original arcade 360. And then there was the 360 and then the, the elite 360 which was black 120 gigabytes ethernet a uh, silver membership <laughs> that's funny to think of of um of xbox live back at, when this 360 came out how much different it is now compared to then and then not really so all right, so that's so. This is my little box here. So I got this one ready to go. I'm going to do some. I'm going to go back to PS2s, I think, and PS1 today. Only because I still have that. Oh, and I have my Switch here. This is. I kept one for myself. I actually have Tears on here. This would be the only reason I would play Nintendo would be to play uh, Zelda. Uh, this one, I was able to find one that just needed a battery replacement. So you always remember on switches, there, if it doesn't do anything, it might be the battery. Might. So I tried to get three or four, and I finally found one that just needed the battery replaced, and then it turned on. So let's look at this for a minute. And then I have a dock somewhere around here. And at some point, I will play some games. I say that all the time <clears throat> but i'm not sure when it's gonna happen but I, I will play some games here and there um so right now the only thing i have on here is tears uh, and i think i have a copy of the other one so this one's up to, i was charging it for a while i need to be charged so that's pretty much that it's just the original one i had an old o l e d i also had the whole zelda set the tears, all of it, and then I resold it all. So that's kind of how I do stuff. <laughs> I get new stuff that's unique, and then I'll, I'll resell it after a while just to check it out. All right, so this is my my little switch here. Hardly played it at all, and I have my original power adapter here. So yesterday I was spent the day. Oh, this is GameCube power adapter. Now there's something that's on my short list. Stuff to get back to. So today we're gonna just play around with some PS twos and ones. I was yesterday. That's this one. Oh, that's Japan. I sold another cover for back cover for Wii U. I've um so that's a full back. So a couple of the fun things this morning. I only have a few orders. The most difficult part so far today was going to be the boxing of that box. Which is kind of a pain. So I don't think I have a box that that would fit in. So really the only way to do it is to make a box. That's what we're going to do. 
gonna make a box to put it in. Oop, and I don't wanna lose this right here. This goes to the other end of So this is the pound adapter for my Sega, and I gotta make sure I leave the cable back on there because I'll lose it. And you can't, you need to have it. Do what you can do either or. So this is my Sega stuff. We'll play around with that again, maybe today, maybe not. Did lots of Sega CDs yesterday. It was kind of fun. We'll do some more Sega CD stuff. I need that, so I need to get a little box. I have a box right here. So I gotta keep things boxed up, or I tend to lose them. That's never fun. The hardest part of selling gaming parts and everything is keeping track of stuff. It's so hard. Clean up my desk, please. I gotta make more space. Like that. I want to play with this 3D printer and move it, so that's why it's kind of still there. Let's just get this out of the way for a minute. Put the Nintendo in here for now. Put all that little box and get that out of the way. And then we'll box a box for a while. Let's see if we can do that. Of course, I'm going to print the slip out. So, we'll do something. Even though you're selling an empty box, it's still a, a big process to do. I'm gonna do this for a little bit. Let me go get some um, stuff.
All right, so we're going to box a box. Sounds pretty boring, but yeah, I need to do it, so not so boring. We'll do that for a little. So three quarters of selling on eBay is the shipping. And shipping requires boxing stuff. I need to make a box. I got these cool little... Um, so finding exact boxes that you need is imperative in selling stuff. So... I use a lot of small boxes, but I have some stuff I sell as a bigger bar, as bigger, so, therefore. So, this is going from Rhode Island to Missouri. MO is Missouri, right? I believe it is. So, I need to make a box from this box. Because you can't just ship the box as itself. I mean, you could. I used to do that, and then that caused me all kinds of problems. So you can't really do that. You gotta make a box around the box. If you can't find one that, see, that almost fits perfect. So that's pretty set right there. That almost gave me what I need right away. Yeah, that was good. So that's kind of almost what I need. Kind of, sort of. So I can make a box and. See. Like gift wrapping, gift wrapping, gift wrap, wrapping a present, basically. Let's see if we can cut this off. So I'm going to sit here. It's my first thing this morning. I don't usually sell many big bulky things. So I don't want to ship stuff like that. I buy stuff like that. But I don't know. Ship it like that. But. I'll ship a box. I can handle a box. I often get very fragile stuff. Let's make this into. Uh, I still have to stick some more stuff in there, but at least we can kind of get there a little bit. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot involved in shipping, uh, even an empty box, like anything else. The shipping. Part of it, the packing and the shipping is sometimes more than the actual pulling apart. And this is a one big case. I think I'm going to get lucky here because this kind of covers a quarter of my box. Then I'll just have to put a half in here and half in there and we'll be done. So that's pretty cool. Fold it. Just wanted to show you the work that goes. I often get really low offers on empty boxes, but I don't take them because there's just a lot of there's a lot involved. Although this this buyer paid what I had listed for, so that's cool. I appreciate that. Therefore, I'm now making sure everything is done correctly, which I always do anyway. But now I really want to make sure. Yeah, you can't just ship the box. Put a label on to ship the box, but then it gets damaged more in shipping, and then you're then you're gonna end up having to return, which I hate returns. So box it correctly, it should be fine. And it's just it's like a light box in a box. Right, so now I need three inserts for either side. So that's where it's a little bit more tricky. And I did this as I do everything now, uh, ground advantage. I hardly ever use priority anymore, only because I have so many discounts and, and coupons that I'm charging significantly less, so therefore I have to ship cheaper. But I still ship the same day. I just have to cut corners where I can because I'm giving more sales. I mean, more uh, discounts. Basic uh, seller kind of thing here. So, box this. Yeah, I found these cool boxes. So I'm always hunting around for boxes. It's three quarters of I need them all the time. Small and, and so, if I can find ones that work better for what I my need, then I start using them. 
these are one of them. These are pizza boxes. And I didn't realize I could get them a good amount of them for fairly cheap. And the lighter the better on the box. Because as you can see in here, it's not really about the Continue to work on my little box here. I only have a few orders that I'm all pretty good. So, we have scissors, a box, paper, and then just a lot of stuff to sell. So, that's what I've been doing for eight or nine years now. No, seven, seven or eight now. God, so I just made myself a little box in there. Now I put this in there. So I'm just doing a little packing box, box packing box. So if I sleeved it like that, so I put it in there, so that should be good on that side, right? And then I can attach all this together. Put some more tape. Sometimes you can use priority boxes and stuff like that, but I'm not shipping priority, so I can't put them. I have to use a box box. And it still weighs three or four pounds, even though it's empty. So the weight of it makes shipping costs go up, obviously. Therefore, that's why you have to charge a little bit. You just can't do it for free. Because I can't ship it for free. Shipping this box is after all fees, it's probably like fifteen dollars just to ship it. Box. So therefore, and they're hard to find. So that takes care of that. So that's completely boxed there. There, I'm working on this side. I'm working on this side here. So I'll do this this way. So I took two pizza boxes to make a box. These are nice and light. Easy to use. That in there, All right? And that must be a nice little box. Oh, next one. Huh? Like wrapping up present for Christmas here, and then that goes like that. This come out pretty good. It's really fun. Then I just need a little little squirt insert in there, and I'm all good to go. The shipping label. If I use the shipping label. Packing slip for every all my orders. It's my really own communication with uh, buyers when they get their item, and I use a stamp, um, rubber stamp champ, I believe it's called. So there's two stamps. One says, you know, like any issues, let me know, kind of thing. Although a lot of people never do that. Anyway. And then. My other stamp is a thank you, and then I, I sign a thank you with my terrible handwriting on every single thing sold. I used to, one time, add stuff to it. A lot of, a lot of people have comment cards and stuff like that on there, but so you gotta pay for each one of those. So I bought a stamp and a stamp pad, and that's all, and I use it every single time. I don't have to keep buying comment cards and all that because buyers are just going to either comment or they're not they're either going to contact you about an issue or they're not so it's no sense wasting a book or two um, and the packet slip just that that is my comment card basically and the stamp is just yeah, a reminder and then the thank you 
That's how I do it. Because I have so many orders that I can't add another dollar out of something else to it. So this is where we can. So this is actually coming out pretty nice, huh? And there's a box in a box. Pretty fun. And then I just made a little insert here. So then I can, I don't want to put tape on the box itself. Because therefore it could rip and then make it look not as good. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to cut out a piece in here. I need another piece. Stick in there. Because yeah, oh, if you when you I put it if I put some of this tape on this box and then the buyer pulls the tape off and then it rips the box, that could be a deal breaker and that could be a return. So we don't want that. So the tape goes on the outer box. So therefore it never affects the box inside. The effort is there, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to... The whole purpose is that the box is inside of this box. And no tape is touching the box. When you take the box off, it's just what you purchased. So we're boxing the uh, Xbox 360 box to ship. Because empty boxes sell just as good. Well, it's a lot of work, too. Still. This is done. This will be my first order done. And then we'll go on to some other stuff. That was my first little project. <laughs> of course, I have eBay tape. You get allocated so much, like fifty dollars every few months, to get some eBay supplies, and I use tons of eBay tape as opposed to buying white packing tape. Get enough that I don't need to. I use the white packing tape for my shipping the labels. There's a whole process just shipping. And I do it all packing, shipping, listing, one man shop. It's a lot of stuff. I learn a lot. Keep doing it not long enough, you learn a lot of stuff. It's a whole years to get eBay kind of straightened out. Although I've had some rough goes of it here and there. And that's usually due to some issue that shouldn't be there, but all right. So we boxed the well, box. To box. Pretty much. So it's completely enclosed. It's, all the tape is just on the outer box, and then this will ship. And this is good to go. So, uh, okay.
All right, so what we're going on to now is get to these. We're gonna go back to PS ones, and then I'm gonna go to PS twos after I need to send this back. So we'll just box the box.
All right, let's look at some PS1s for a little bit. Do a little PS1 this morning. For a little while. Let me take this out of here. I had an issue with a buyer. I had to just end up re refunding them because I must have made a mistake. Once in a while, these these um, can have a port issue, and it's motherboard related. So somehow I sold them. I was gonna sh ship them another replacement, but I just couldn't find one. I, I didn't have one. It was for the nine thousand model, which are these. But I don't think these ones worked. And that has no video, so. So you gotta remember, so power supply, I need a power supply. So those are five pin power supplies for everyone except for the original oh, 1001. So we test these. Got a port here, I gotta test the port. And then the lenses on these are a different different cable setup depending on the motherboard. So your 5501 is your best motherboard, most reliable. Most wanted for the uh, mods. I think it's the PU18, I believe. Yeah. So I don't normally sell lenses because it's just a real pain. So a lot of times, what happens is if I if I test this on this board and it works, when the buyer get it gets it, it doesn't work on his board and it gets returned. And the reason is that most times read issues on PS ones are motherboard related, not lenses. Therefore, I just don't sell them. Eventually, I will, but it's just a, it's just a, it's just, it's just like Russian roulette with those, with any hard, any uh, lens or disk drives are a real pain. All my negative feedback, you can check it out. It's all disk drive related. Things I shipped working and then they didn't. So there's a couple different cables there. See that little one there? That's the one o one o o one. This one here is the five. There's three different ones. And then this one is really long. And this is a 9,000, I think. So there should be three different ones. So we'll just play around with PS1 today. Take him a little. I got really easy, easy orders today. So, so we'll just kind of spread out what... what what you could see in a PS1. Oh, and then I also have the PS1s, which are... I've got other ones to look at, too, here. So I think today we're going to make it a PS1 kind of day. For a while. So these are some more here I gotta test. Three more there. I don't have any more five five fives though. This one this one has a weird wire thing on it. I think these are weird wired ones, I believe, were made. Right there, there's some blue wire thing going on there. I think these were to play copy discs that way back in the way day there. And then you can use this. I somewhere I have a insert for this for some sort of a one's a game shark and one's uh, something else, some other sort of a mod thing. I forget what that does. Nine thousand models doesn't have that anymore over here. And these ones I don't think work. So we're going to test some of these for a little bit. Somewhere I have the PS1s too. I don't know where they are. This is the smaller white one. So I got a bunch of those that go through at some point. Maybe today I will. So lenses. Yeah, so that's the 5000 model there. So the three different types other than the PS1, which makes four. Four different uh, disk drives or lens assemblies. I call them. Not really disk drives. They kind of just drives, but so we're gonna do a quick test here of these. But before I do that, I 
I need to pull another order. I just put two orders in the mailbox. I boxed my box and put it in the mailbox. And that's all set to go. I need something else. Small. So I smell. I sell really teeny stuff. And this is a really teeny little pot. I have to just see so I can find one. Hold on. I gotta get the box. All right, so the hardest thing of selling gaming parts is keeping things related to whatever it is that of the system in a certain place, and then that little within that the little parts in certain little bags. Very difficult. The hardest part, just when you do it all yourself. There's no real. So let's look at this. This box is NES. And I would sell down to, uh, to one screw if needed. However, my minimum order now is about $11. It's almost up to $12 now. Because even if I stick a screw, I have to put it in a little box. It's going to be two ounces no matter what you do. Uh, after all fees and everything, it's about seven bucks to ship one screw. So I don't, you can't put it in the stamp mail. There's no such thing as that. Can't put parts in stamp mail. I don't use media mail because it's really not much cheaper. And there's no tracking. Same with stamp mail, no tracking. So the point for that was is I sold so I can find one. This so if you look at the NES, there's the cartridge fl flip flop in the door. The the cartridge door itself. On the front then we're talking about the uh, front loader, not the top loader. The, the dreaded front loader, I call it, because they never work. Uh, the cartridge door has a cartridge slot that flops open and down. Well, there's two there's two clips and two screws that hold that on. That's what I sold. Again, it's not much, but if you need something, if you need them, I sometimes have them. So now i got to find one. In this box, in general, it should be all my the rest of my NES stuff. These these are the front panels for the um, for the ports for the controllers. These are controller ports here. Let's go in there. Uh, power buttons. So anything I have left for NES is in here. I don't have any more systems or anything like that. Oh, there we go. And so this is it right here. This is all I sold. Yet it's hard to see it from where they are. But this is... Now I want that back. So this is what I sold. This little piece here. So again, if you have the cartridge door, just one grab one. Actually, I have one. So everything in that box is related to this. Your the dreaded front loader NES with that giant um, adapter thing, which never works. I never got any. I sold all my NES boards for parts. I never got one working. I have a top loader though, so that's a whole different animal. Top loader is what you want. I got one left up there. So there's a spring. These two clips right here. One, two, and then there's two screws. And they go to one side and then it holds this. 
you have to you have to take off this other piece too. These I have these two I sell, and then front thing goes here, and then I sell these whole bottom cases too. I haven't sold any in a while. They're hard to make sure they don't have a ding. Oh, I the, the cover bottom bottom cover here. So these ones I haven't sold. I have a bunch of them. I'm gonna get some of them listed though. But the problem is, there's always some ding or some dent that I right here. Like see right there, that little ding right there. It'll get returned if I don't show it. So this one actually is intact. Normally there's some sort of a a crack, and then you got to make sure your posts are good. Those are all things that if you don't, if you miss one thing, say it's definitely for the bottom too. If you miss a screw post broken, it comes back. And we all know I hate returns, so I haven't listed any of these. But this is dark. That was the reason why I haven't listed this one. But somebody might want it. It's intact. There's a way to what they call I think it's called retro braiding. I see right there. There's a little bit of a ding right there. And like you said, you can't barely see it, but buyers zoom, they zoom right in on that one spot and they'll say, hey, this is damaged. Now as a whole, they'll zoom in, I'll get a photo of that little teeny, teeny little spot right there. And then it gets returned. It's kind of frustrating. As a whole, it's a pretty good shape other than being really dark. So retro braiding, this might be able to retro braid this out. I don't know. Uh, I may sell, I don't think I sell I only sell the bottoms right now, but I may put in a top and a bottom. But the problem with selling a top and a bottom is this is now very bulky to ship. Therefore, the cost is expensive just for me to get this out the door. So the price would have to be expensive. And buyers usually don't want to pay that much. Therefore, I ship some separate. Cutting the cost down of shipping a whole one to half, but still, ground advantage has made things easier, postal service, as opposed to, used to be 16 ounces, everything had to go priority, and then the price went way up, but now it doesn't have to be that way, I can do over 16 ounces and still use ground advantage for a little bit cheaper, save maybe a couple bucks, but if you gotta do what you gotta do, alright, so that's what I got, these two clips here, and what I can see right away, one of them has a little so I need to clip in the screws and these clips back then for some reason they used a real flathead which is a real pain in the butt. So you can barely turn them or they just they easily strip. So I have to make sure the flatheads are still good to look fine. So a little bit of a metal wear on this one I think. So we gotta get that off of there. Metal wear being a little surface. Sometimes these are worn inside so. I got to clean these clips, and that's all I sold. Just that, just those little two little clips here. These two clips right there, and those are the clips that go for that this door right here. And that's it. That's all I sold. But minimum order is eleven dollars. But I have a discount, so it kind of comes out to less than nine. It cost me seven, so I make a couple bucks per order. Like that. All right, so wire brush is my friend here. I use wire brushes all the time. Sometimes there's a little bit of a metal wear on here. People could say it's rust, but it really isn't. It just comes right off. So I gotta make sure that that's all off because if I ship it to somebody, they're gonna tell me it's rusted. Hey, this is rusted. No, it's not rusted. It's just a little surface wear. Kind of rust, but still, so there's a little piece right there. So you have to make sure you don't miss these little details because, again, that little spot that was there, now it's gone. I'd get um, a 911 emergency message from the buyer with a zoomed in photo showing a little piece of that right there saying it's all rusted. 
<laughs> and it happens all the time. It's craziness. So, try not to miss. So you get the two clips and the two screws, and that's it. That's my order. I'll put it in a new little bag, and that'll be my next order done. Yeah. And, I'll go, and then we'll go with PS1. I have one more order to do with the Easy PC. So I clean those off, put it in a nice, fresh new, even the bag, you don't want to have a bag, so a fresh new Ziploc bag. Ziploc bags are my friend as well, because I've gone through thousands, if not tens of thousands of Ziploc bags. And I've got them everywhere. And then I have them in boxes everywhere. Try to kind of keep things organized, but it's not easy. Sometimes I can see a random bag and look inside and say, oh, I know what that is. Sometimes I lose bags that I need. Sometimes. Do that there. I'm going to stop with this.